Hi, welcome to a short tutorial on timed events. Maybe you have a key that's up on top of a platform and you want a bridge to come out when you push a button and disappear after five seconds. Uh, so the player has to rush or do something uh, before the timer runs out. Um, and that can be repeatable. So I'll go ahead and show you an example. So we've made a just a, an empty room with a button um, and a key to go up and collect. We've got a collectible for the key and the lever, we're gonna go ahead and make that a button. Fantastic, get rid of the indicator and we will send it so it reaches behind the wall or where we need our message to be sent. Uh, and we'll make the message it to say trigger dot platforms. So we'll go ahead and put that as the message. We don't want to use default messages because they can confuse your other mechanics that have the default messages as well. So always use your own custom messages. We have a button now that will send a message trigger dot platforms. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and bring a platform out. We're going to have to line up these platforms so they work like stairs. Now if you hold down shift, you can go ahead and move them so they snap. And we probably want to make them about one and a half blocks from the top. Two blocks I don't think the avatar can jump, but one and a half they can. Uh, we'll get rid of, uh, actually we'll keep the basic platform on there, but we'll get rid of it for now. And we'll duplicate it. Hold shift and then bring it down one, two, three. So there's your one and a half blocks. Control D to duplicate, hold shift, and then go one, two, three. Now if we press tab, we should be able to jump up on top of there, collect the key. Awesome, it works. Fantastic. So now we have a button that sends a message trigger dot platforms and we got our platforms so we'll go ahead and select them all and we're going to give them the basic platform behavior now I think if we just select one it shows you where it goes if you have multiple it doesn't show you their destinations but you can see they go through the wall to the other side um, so we'll go ahead and we will move them through the wall at, but before I do these platforms are floor uh, four bricks wide and the platform speed shows you how many bricks per second they will move. So if we make them four, we know it's going to take one second to move four blocks, which is its total width of the platform. And we don't want it to wait. Um, so we'll go ahead and select all of these. Now if you hold down shift, things move half a block and they snap to a grid. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that has now moved exactly four blocks. And you can see we can't see it anymore because four blocks is exactly the width of the platform. Now if we go ahead and change that to minus four, so it goes through the other direction, you can see it lines up perfectly. So uh, we don't want any weight duration either and we want that to be a speed of four. So it takes one second to get to that spot in full and it won't wait once it reaches there. Uh, we wanna do the same here, minus four, make sure that's four and that is zero and confirm that the top one is the same, minus four, four, zero and uh, there we go. Now if we press tab, that will just go in and out. Uh, can't stop that uh, unless you add toggle behavior. So we'll go ahead and select all three platforms and put on our toggle behavior. Toggle behavior will say, do we want the behavior to be on or off at the beginning of the game? That's this part here. So we say no, we don't want it to be on. So when we tab, you don't see them move. We told them stay off. Excellent, so far so good. 
So we'll go ahead and select all our platforms. Now we're gonna get rid of the toggle message trigger, which was the message default for the button. As you can see, if we left it as a default, all things can happen. So we're gonna go ahead and change the toggle now to uh, trigger. dot platforms now once these uh, when these uh, platforms receive the message trigger dot platforms they'll start moving uh, that's the message sent by this button you can see it reaches the radius uh, so let's go test that out so as you can see they go in and out and if I push the button again they stop if I push the button again they go in and out, push the button again, they stop. And I can spam that, you know. All you have to do is change the, uh, on the button, the duration. If you make it zero, it means that I can spam that constantly. Whereas if I made it one second, it will wait one second before the message is allowed to be sent again. So spam E, but it's not what we want. We want to push it so it stays out for five seconds and then automatically disappears again. So how do we do that? We need a middleman now. So what we're gonna do is set up our timers. We do this with our, just select any asset. Uh, I use the numpad asset because it's small and easy to use. And we put a health component on it. Now, uh, we want it to reset, not destroy when it dies. And we will make this one minus two. So when it receives a message, it will die straight away. And we'll change the message from kill to something else. So we'll make the health hidden so we don't see it. Uh, let's do uh, trigger dot timer. So when it receives a message, trigger dot timer. It will die and we can send that death message from this button here. So when we push this button, we're gonna change the message from trigger.platforms to trigger.timer. Excellent, and if we test that out, we can push the button, you can see our health component dies and the more we push it, the more it dies uh, and it keeps coming back alive because we have selected the reset on death event. Now we want it to send a message, trigger platforms. You have to send it to a tag. So message sent on def will be trigger platforms and it's going to send it to tags that have trigger platforms attached to it as well so we're going to go ahead and select our platforms and make sure they all have the tag trigger the platforms so now this step here it kills the health component and turns on so it's exactly what we were doing before, but now there's a middleman. Okay, so the purpose of this now is to do our timings. So what does that mean? Well, this message gets sent instantly. It has a death delay of minus two seconds. So as soon as it receives that message from the button, it's gonna send that message to the platforms to turn on. So if we duplicate this, now there's two of them. They will both die when they received the message from a button. But we're gonna change this to 0 0.525. Now the reason we do 525 is that's the how long it takes for the def animation to occur before the platforms are sent out the message. So what do I mean by that? If we hit enter and we test it out, the platforms have stopped. So what's happened is this health component sent the message to turn them on. 
it turned them on straight away. But this health component takes 0 0.52 five seconds before it dies. It does a half a second death animation and then it sends the message to the platforms to turn off. And if you remember, we told the platform to move four blocks per second. So we only want the platforms to be turned on exactly for one second before it turns off. So the 0 0.525 is the balance, the balance for the death animation. Okay, so now when I push this button, the platforms have now stopped. Excellent. What we do now to time the event is we duplicate both of these assets. We'll bring them over here and we will now change the timer. So we want them to stay on for five seconds, right? So we're gonna put on five. Let's just say six seconds, okay? Because we got the one second here, it's gonna take five seconds to stay on. And then it's gonna die after six seconds and send the messages to the platforms to go back on again, which puts them through the wall. So if this goes on for six seconds, we want this one to trigger after six point, is it five to five? Or it could be seven point. So let's test this out. So we'll go ahead and we'll push this button. It sends the messages to turn on and off. And now we wait, it waits five seconds. That dies, sends the messages to turn off again. As you can see, the last one wasn't long enough. So we have to change the last one so the timing is correct. The correct answer is 0 0.252, I think, or just 25. No, sorry, 0 0.25. Now if we hit enter and we test it, the last one now dies after five seconds and the last one puts it through the wall. As you can see, now we have no more platforms until the player comes over here and pushes the button again and then it brings it out again and then the player can make their way up the platforms before it starts closing on them and then the platforms are through the wall and the player can come and get the key and that won't come back out again until you push the button i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions just send me a message have a great day